were called today, do you believe that it would be a success for Israel? I think there's no question. I think we've seen 11 days since Hamas launched this attack on Israel. In that time, just our attack on the metro system, that underground web that they had created, probably took them back five years. So 11 days of an operation that we did not ask for ultimately resulted in something that reduced their capabilities by multiple years. I think that's a success on all levels. Hamas also tried to attack us by the water. That also did not work because we managed to disable and neutralize their submersive vehicle along with uh, their other, their active uh, operatives. We took out R&D centers across the Gaza Strip. We caused our terrorists to go underneath the ground. I think that by all accounts for an 11-day confrontation, our goals have been fantastic. However, just today we saw 300 rockets launched at the Israeli population. And if the IDF was not on absolute patrol, there would have been more damage. We took out launchers as they were launching rockets on the population. You know, I want to go back to Mohammed Dayev because obviously he has been one of the main targets. We've seen the IDF attempt to take him out at least twice this week from reports. Is that the final blow that the Israeli military is waiting for? And then we have another issue as well from the Israeli public. We're seeing the brother of Hadel Golden speak out. There are the bodies of Israeli soldiers, of Israeli civilians that are still being held by Hamas. Is that also a priority? So first, uh, Muhammad Def, we will get to him eventually. We want to remind everybody that he was the one who actually sent a recorded message threatening Israel uh, and made the connection between Jerusalem and the attacks against Israel. But there will be another Muhammad Def, like we took care of uh, Ikhya Ayash and we took care of other leaders. So it's not going to be the end of the conflict uh, after we will deal with him.